Jai Swami Narayan. Today from the Vachana Amrut, a set of about 300 spiritual discourses from Swami Narayan. We are reading Kadada 1.14. Ante ya matihi sa gatihi. On Magshar Vadhi the second, Samvat, 1876, or the 3rd of December, 1819, Swami Sri Sahajananji Maharaj was sitting facing south on a large decorated cot under the neem tree in front of the Mandir temple of Sri Vasudev Narayan in Dada Kachar's Darbar in Gadada. He had tied a white pug around his head. He was also wearing a white case and had covered himself in a white cotton cloth. Also, tassels of yellow flowers decorated his pug. Bunches of yellow flowers had been placed above both of his ears, with roses decorating those bunches. Garlands of yellow flowers adorned his neck as well. With his white hand, he was playing with a white Sevanti flower. At that time, an assembly of munis, as well as devotees from various places, had gathered before him. Sriji Maharaj then asked the munis, Suppose there are two devotees of God. One has renounced worldly life, and although he does not have intense vairagya, dispassion, he does physically observe the religious vows thoroughly. Nevertheless, he still harbors a slight desire for worldly life in his mind. But he overcomes this by a thought process. He also has firm faith in God, such as the renunciant. On the other hand, there is another devotee, a householder, who also has firm faith in God, even though he has remained a householder by God's command. He is disinterested in worldly life. He has the same intensity of worldly desires as the renunciant. Of these two devotees of God, who is better? Muktananda Swami replied, The renunciant devotee is better. Sri Ji Maharaj countered, The renunciant has renounced of his own accord, out of frustration. So how can he be better? The householder, on the other hand, has stayed at home because of God's command. So how can he be inferior? Muktananda Swami attempted to answer Sriji Maharaj's question in many ways, but was unable to do so satisfactorily. Thus, he said, Maharaj, please answer the question yourself. <laughs> Thereupon, Sriji Maharaj said, If a renunciant who is weak-minded receives rich foods to eat, then desires for worldly life, will be revived within his heart. Or, if he encounters many hardships, again, desires for worldly life will be revived. Compared to such a renunciant, a householder is much better, because whenever a householder encounters times of extreme hardship or even times of great pleasure, he is always cautious, lest he becomes attached to these pleasures. With this awareness, he remains disinterested in worldly life. Therefore, a true renunciant is one who has no desires for worldly life, having once renounced it. Keep in mind, though, that a householder is much better than a renunciant with worldly desires, provided he observes the dharma prescribed for householders. The householder's dharma, however, is extremely difficult to observe 
because countless occasions of good and bad times are encountered. Despite this, a true householder's mind does not waver from serving the sant, saint, or from observing his dharma. He also realizes, the profound association of the sant I have attained is like a magnificent chindamani and a kalpa vruksh. My wealth, property, sons and daughters are all merely like a dream, whereas the profound association of the sant that I have attained is the only true benefit of life. Moreover, he remains undeterred amidst any type of adversity that may come his way, such a householder is by far the better of the two. Therefore, of all things, becoming a devotee of God is very difficult. Moreover, to attain the association of the bhakta of God, the devotee of God, is very rare indeed. Having spoken in this way, Sri Ji Maharaj then arranged for the singing of devotional songs written by Muktananda Swami describing the glory of God and His Son. Thereafter, Muktananda Swami asked the Shruti's state, Anteya matihi sa gitaha They claim that if one's mind is fixed on God the time of death, one will attain a favorable fate after death, otherwise one will not. This verse seems to be, or this seems to, be the interpretation of that Vedic verse. If this is so, what is the significance of the bhakti one has performed throughout one's life? Sriji Maharaj explained, A person has been graced a person who has been graced with the attainment of the manifest form of God never falls from the path of liberation, regardless of whether he remembers God at the time of death, God protects him. Conversely, a person who has turned away from God does not attain liberation, even if he dies normally, while being conscious. Instead, he is consigned to Yampuri after death. Many sinful butchers die while still fully conscious, but if a devotee of God suffers an untimely death, does that mean he will not attain liberation? Certainly not. Moreover, will that sinner attain liberation? Certainly not. Therefore, that Vedic verse should be interpreted as follows. The outcome at the time of death is determined by the present state of mind. Thus, a devotee who realizes in his mind, my liberation is guaranteed, will, as a result, certainly attain liberation after death. In comparison, a person who has not been graced with the attainment of the sant or the form of God will feel in his mind, I am ignorant, and I will not attain liberation. As a result, his state of mind will determine his fate after death. Furthermore, a person who is a servant of God has nothing left to do. In fact, other jivas, individual souls, attain liberation by his darshan, sight. So what is surprising? about he himself attaining liberation. But to cultivate servitude towards God is very difficult indeed. Why? Because a servant of God has the following characteristics. He realizes the physical body is asatya, untruth, unreal. And his own atma, the self, is satya, truth or real. He harbors no desires to indulge in the objects that are intended for his master. Also, he never behaves contrary to the wishes of his master. 
such a person is called a true servant of God, whereas a servant of God who behaves as the body is a pseudo-devotee. Thank you for listening. Jai Swami Narayan.